here with pitching coach Drew Dickinson. A top 10 pitching showdown in Columbus this weekend. What are you looking forward to for that? Everything. Everything about it. I think it's going to be a great series. Um, obviously, two great clubs. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of recognition. They're starting to get rec recognition, which I thought they should have probably garnered probably three or four weeks ago. Um, but they got three good starters. We got three good starters. We got a good pen. Um, it's just going to come down to really who does little things, making you know, air here, someone makes a big air or whatnot, big pitch. I'm um, looking forward towards the series. Um, I actually enjoy being on the road in hostile crowds. I'm hoping they have a big crowd. Um, it's just going to be fun. Baseball It's exactly why you play the game for. Who have the unsung heroes been on the staff this year? We kind of know about all the marquee guys who have gotten the recognition, but maybe some of those back-end guys who have really gotten their jobs done and not gotten the recognition they deserve. Well, for me right now, it's, it, it's Blackburn and J.D. Nielsen. Um, any team a lot of times can put together, you know, two or three good starters and, a, and one reliever. But we all know the way the baseball works out. It's always going to come down to guys behind that. And we have two guys that have always had that could do the job, but now they're starting to get those innings uh, in big situations and are coming through every time, uh, both Nick and J.D. And that's just a luxury to have. I mean, case in point last night, and with Cody Selock too. Mm -hmm. I don't want to forget Cody, a guy who can go long, go short, power stuff. Um, that's what makes us, I think, one of the best teams in the nation, I just do, because you have Tyler J, which everybody knows about, but you got three legit arms, two righties and lefty, that can go out and get it done, and I think would be, would be dudes on our team if we didn't have Tyler. Um, so it's just a luxury to have, and we use those guys when we see fit. Now a 9-0 record in midweek games, you got to chalk that up to quality pitching and the depth there. So another guy to talk about, Rob McDonald, finishing it off a perfect midweek uh, performance this season last night. And that's huge. Uh, I asked all our, our staff what I always uh, preach is midweek games are more important than weekend games. For simple reason, kids get up for the weekend games. Midweek games, sometimes you can kind of get lulled to sleep sometimes with the opponent and just being a midweek game, you know, it's not your typical routine. Uh, but Bob McDonald, having that everyday starter to go out there every single Tuesday and give you what he does and that consistency, allows you to go out and win games. And again, and also back in the bullpen, going for sure get two, three, sometimes four innings in those games. Uh, he was lights out this year and will be a, just going to make us even more deeper when it comes to postseason play. Let's just touch on that rotation really quick. Duchesne, Johnson, and Kravitz again this weekend. Yes, that's correct. Same three guys. Let it keep riding out. Um, like I said, it, hasn't, it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, I have Tyler, who's always there to go one inning or eight if you need him. Um, it's just a luxury to have. we got some older guys who are ready to go compete. And this has been Matt Willie with pitching coach Drew Dickinson on FightingIllini.com.